Hi everybody, it's Brad here with Alton Technologies. Recently, we released MDaemon version 16, and with this new release, we introduced two-factor authentication for world client, MDaemon's webmail client. So today, I'm going to show you how to enable two-factor authentication and how to use it. Now, the first thing that we need to do is make sure that HTTPS support is enabled for world client users within MDaemon. So here's my MDaemon. And that is done via the setup menu. If we go down to web and IM services, and then under the world client section, click on SSL and HTTPS, and make sure that one of the three options that include HTTPS is selected. So in this case, I've got HTTPS only selected. And then make sure you have a valid SSL certificate in the window below, and then click on apply and OK. Since I already have this set up, I'm just going to hit cancel for the time being. So then the next thing we need to do, which is performed by the end, which is performed by the end user, is to uh, set up uh, is, is to set up the two-factor authentication. So we do that from within World Client via the options uh, via the uh, security menu within the options menu as shown here. Now before we go any further. You'll want to make sure that you're logged in using an HTTPS connection. So make sure you have HTTPS in the URL before you log into a world client. Now, with that in mind, let's go ahead and set this up. So we'll go to the we'll go to the gear option or the options menu, and we'll click on security. And then what we want to do on this screen. On the top half of this screen, you have two blanks where you can change your password. But what we're more concerned with is the bottom section, two-factor authentication. Now, to make any changes to two-factor authentication or to enable it in the first place, you'll need to be sure to enter your password on this screen. So if we go back to the top, and it even it says it right here in this, uh, this passage right here that you'll need to make sure and enter that password for two-factor authentication. So we'll go, and enter our, we'll go ahead and enter our password here. Okay, and then we'll scroll down to the bottom and we'll click on this button to set up two-factor authentication. Okay, so what we, what we can now do is enter either a, a secret code or scan a barcode. This is done from within the Authenticator app that you will install on your phone. And I'm going to be using Google Authenticator, but you can use another app that supports the Google Authenticator method of authentication if you'd like. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this on my with my phone here. Now, as you can see, we can either scan the barcode or we can enter a, uh, we can enter a uh, or show a secret code and enter it on the phone. So I'm going to click on this option here under Show Secret, and it, and you have two options here. Now we have a link at the bottom on the application on the phone that says Begin Setup. So I'm going to tap on that, and then you have the option at the bottom of either scanning a barcode or entering that secret code that I'm showing you on my screen here within World Client. I'm going to just go ahead and select the first option to scan that barcode. So I'm going to tap Scan Barcode, and you'll get this little square where you can, you'll put your barcode within that square and scan it with your camera. So I'm going to do that now. I'm just pointing my camera at the barcode. And having scanned that, I now have this code that it just gave me. This is the verification code that we enter on our screen in World Client. So I'm going to type that code in, the blank provided. And then click right here where it says Verify Pairing. Okay, your Authenticator app was, has successfully paired with World Client's two-factor authentication service. So now we can click on OK. So now, whenever we log into World Client, we just simply enter our verification code. Now, when you're using the Google Authenticator app, this code may change every 30 seconds or so. So you'll, you'll want to be sure and look at this app, look at this code whenever you log into World Client. So let me demonstrate that for you. I'm going to log out of World Client. And then I'm going to log back in. OK. And again, you, we're prompted for the verification code, which again, if we launch the uh, Authenticator app on your phone, you've got your code right here. So I'm going to enter that code. 
and then click on verify and sign in. And that's it. That's how to use the new two-factor authentication in World Client. If you have questions, feel free to email me at training at altn.com and have a great day.